Hey, I'm Nikisa and this is Munchie Supreme. Today I'm gonna to show you the best snacks to eat while you're high. And with my girl, Token with Tina, we're gonna raid Target and Long Beach for us. something to eat up in there. That is not always a bad thing. So I'm gonna first start off with my drink, which is the Coca-Cola Cherry. Give me that kilk. Favorites. Um, I personally go with a carbonated drink because while you also are getting snacks for munchies, you can't forget about quenching your thirst because a lot of us get caught in mouth here and there. So I'm gonna take a sip. So you can't go wrong with cherry. Um, if you've ever had like cherry Sprite, Thanks. personally, my favorite is cherry cola. And cheers! That's really good. Uh, the good thing about, you know, like a carbonated beverage, I feel like the carbonation always hits you like in the back of your throat and always. That's what she said. <laughs> no, I'm not and then what did you choose? I got something super healthy and refreshing for the summertime, coconut water. Yeah, you can't really go wrong, especially with how hot it's been. Um, I just want really to make sure that I'm getting all my hydration for the summer. It smells so good. It smells like summer in Now, here. do you need to <laughs> shake your coconut water before you drink it? Is mm, that a thing? Or let's does see. It, does it matter? I don't know, I just always thought that. No, this one doesn't say that I had to. Which is good, because I didn't. <laughs> That's why I was asking. I know. Nope. Nope. Like coconut with an easy twist off cap. Enjoy, chill. Ooh. And then, so, if you were to rate coconut water on a scale of 0 to 100, what would you rate it? Um... I would give coconut water a solid 90. How about you? <laughs> what do you have against coconut water? I don't have anything Ooh. against coconut water. I'm just like, that's damn. That's a very high rating. I don't know. We're always high. True. With so, our ratings. <laughs> so personally, um, I would rate Coca-Cola, I would say 70. Okay. Because it's... Really All right. Good, you know, it quenches your thirst, gives you that carbonation, which I'm always looking for, and also the cherry flavor. Um, but personally, I think there are more drinks out there. Uh -huh. um, I just didn't have access to it today, so there's there's something out there that's yeah. definitely higher. But what would you score my coconut water? Um, I think coconut water would be around like sixty. <laughs> my heart. Well, it's Coca Cola Cherry. I would give it a 50. Hater. It's not that healthy for you. Um, and I'm getting a bunch of munchies, so I'm gonna save my calories for the munchies okay. and uh, make sure you have a healthy, refreshing drink. I will give you that. I will give you that. So now we'll go with our first picks. My personal Woo! first pick. Oh, look at that catch. That so athletic. <laughs> 
Um, I picked my Airhead Soft Fill Bites. So the reason why I picked these is because not only is it one snack, but it is two snacks. It's not only Airheads, but it's also Sour Belts wrapped around the Airheads. I believe that's what it is because they're just like sour gummy candy. This is Sour Belt, right? Yeah. yeah. So. It looks like mini pillows. <laughs> it's inside of little color pillowcases. Like, candy pillowcases. Fluffy. Yeah, okay. You Thank you. That is watermelon. Ooh, watermelon. Okay, good. I was uh, gonna say this is cherry. I'm probably not gonna like it. I don't okay. like cherry, but glad it's watermelon. Okay, and I picked cherry hole. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna do blue raspberry. Ooh, nice. So chewy. It's a little hard, but like. That's candy. what she said. <laughs> what gonna do. Um, but it's not like that overly sour, kind of like the Warheads where you're like, oh, it's like that nice, subtle, and then it goes into like a sweet. What do you think? That is a delicious sour candy. You get the classic Airhead taste that we all love and remember from being a kid. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, I would score this 95. I don't know how to do Switch it up. Let's do some chocolate. Okay. Classic for sure. Twix. Okay. And I like to get the bites because I don't know when I get the bars, it like gets too chewy and too stuck on my teeth. Well, I feel like you get more out of the bites because the bars you just get like two bars. But like if you add all these up together, it's totally more than that. So this is a win for sure. Mm. And Twix is definitely like my favorite like chocolate bar. Twix is the best. Chocolate, caramel, the like crispy biscuit in the middle. Crunchy. Mm. That's always number one. Hundred. Damn! Every time. Twix. Go to. So I say switch it up now from candy and more like to the chip side. Because you can't go wrong with chips or munchies. So it's like a number one must. So mine that I picked are... The Doritos Dynamite Chili Limon. Oh. So these are kind of like Takis. I've actually never tried these, but I love Takis personally. I really love spicy. So I wanted to, you know, go All ahead and right. check out what these were about. Let's see. I've never tried these either, um, but I do like spicy stuff, so it should be good. So de definitely it tastes like, like lime mm -hmm. and chili. Mm-hmm. I like it. It tastes like a, a chili lime like rolled up Dorito. Oh, is that what it is? I'm sorry. Okay, so it does kind of taste like Takis, but it's not as spicy. And I do like spicy, so I'd probably prefer getting Takis next time over these. But you know, they're pretty dynamite, you know, like it says. <laughs> what would you score it? Um, I would score these probably like around a 45. I want to give it a 50, but then I don't, so I feel like that's too much. I'll go. <laughs> yeah. Alright. What's your score? Um, I would say, you know, those are a pretty good spicy chip. I don't really like my spicy chips to be limey. Um, so I would say maybe like a 40. <laughs> Cheetos is what I gotta go with. Um, but I want to share with you my sour candy that I picked, and that is the classic Sour Punch bites you know the straws that we're used to but we got the mini bites here um so they're delicious they come in strawberry blue raspberry and green apple open these bad boys up here it's always remind me of when i was a kid and always you know from when the ice cream truck comes around in your neighborhood and they always have the long long sour belt like yeah the, my favorite like blue raspberry for a girl favorite one right there oh my god these are like really big though those yeah. are like huge bites yeah like see through them. Can you whistle through them? No. Percocet. Miley Percocet. What I used to do with those um super, super long ones mm -hmm. is put it in my drink. Oh. This one might be a little hard to do because it is kind of short. <laughs> <laughs> Got it! <laughs> I think. Let me try. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Do it. You got it. You got it. Let's see. Draw work. 
It does. What would you score that straw? This is a hundred, you know. Yeah. What I mean? yeah. Banning straws? Just an edible straw? Like, why not? I've heard that before. I think that makes sense. Good edible for the environment. Straws. There we go. Biodegradable. Perfect. So, I think this wraps up the end of this first episode of Munchie Supreme. And we will be back next week. And we will maybe do something a little bit more healthy. Ooh. Like maybe some vegan stuff. Wow. I don't know. We will see. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Nikisa. And this is... <laughs> Munchie Supreme. <laughs> she, was, she really likes these sorry about straws. She was too distracted. Peace.